All right, YouTube, I found a trick on my Volkswagen here that will save people some time and a lot of headache. So I am trying to replace the serpentine belt tensioner on my 2011 Golf. This is a uh, CJAA engine. Here is the old tensioner. And these things mount from the back. They're bolted in from the back, unlike some of the other engines. For some, I don't know why they did this. I don't know what kind of crack those Germans are smoking, but that's how they did it. And if you do your research on how to do this, like I did, you'll see that some guys take the whole front of their car apart. They take the bumper, the grill, the radiator, the fans, they take all that off because in order to access the bolt for the tensioner, it is completely buried in there. You might as well just buy a new car. But anyway, there's the new tensioner. And I found a trick that's going to save you guys a lot of headache. So all I did was I loosened my alternator just so I could get access to the bolt. Here, I'll show you the bolt. It's way in there. It is really tight in there. I can barely get my hand in there. But there, there's the head of the bolt on my socket there. Let me zoom in a little more. There you go. That is the head of the bolt. Way the hell in there. It is damn near impossible to get to. So I loosened the alternator just so I could get, get my light in there really. But anyway, next to it, there's an access hole cut right there in that bracket. And I was able to use a combination of sockets, or sorry, a socket, and a universal socket and a couple extensions to uh, get in there and get to that bolt. So that is a 13 millimeter short socket there that you're gonna need. And I think that's a two or three inch little short extension to a universal socket. And then that's like a 18 inch extension I got down there. I'll crawl underneath and show you. And I recommend if you do this, take your wheel off and take your fender liner out. It just makes it easier to get to everything. You can get right to it, to the belt and all that. But here I'll show you underneath. Once I figured this out, it was really like a 10 minute job. So this definitely saves some time. So you go in right here. This is the bottom of your oil filter next to your oil pan. So you're gonna go in right next to that. Kind of fish up in there. And then up in there, there's that access hole that I was talking about in the mount. So I was able to fish it all up in there and get it on the socket. Let me see if I can pull this out. I'll show you guys what I was doing. And my socket fell off, that's cool. But anyway, it's a big extension. And it worked like a charm. So if you guys are thinking about doing this yourself, this will definitely save you some time. And then I just gotta put the alternator back on. I'll show you another look of the bolt. Right there. Absolutely stupid. I love this car, but my God, they could have designed this shit a little bit better. But anyway, hope that helps somebody out. If it can help me out. Good luck, guys.